Caddis Maximus here, this time with another review of a piece of power conditioning equipment. This is a isolation transformer, a PowerVar AV, ABC402-11. This is a 4 amp, uh, uh, approximately 450 watts or so of continuous output. And these are the next stage of power conditioning equipment. I did a review uh, just previous to this video of a voltage regulator, which uh, does help with wide swings of power line voltage, and it has uh, noise filtering that's pretty high quality, but it is still more like a uh, high quality surge suppressor like an ISO bar. These isolation transformers are what I consider like a level three, and arguably level two in many situations. Isolation transformers are often used by electronics technicians, whether they're working on uh, old audio equipment, tube-based audio equipment. They used to be used a lot for televisions. They're also used a lot in electronic testing laboratories to isolate oscilloscopes so that you are not physically connected via a continuous piece of wire to the output or where the device is plugged in. And that's all these are. They're a heavy transformer that doesn't step up or step down the voltage. It just isolates you from any noise or spikes all sorts of power issues except for big voltage drops these are not UPS's and these won't compensate for large voltage drops but they'll compensate for small ones what these are really is the ultimate form of power conditioning many people who are audiophiles who are into high fidelity audio equipment will also be familiar with isolation transformers because they use them to help clean up the power Anybody who's in the world of high fidelity audio realizes that there is a lot of magic. Um, it's one of the few markets and the products where there's half science and then it's just half pure opinion, really. And what I mean by that is any high quality power amplifier is going to have a big power transformer. Part of the reasons they use those power transformers is they not only step down the voltage, but they also provide isolation, just like a one-to-one -one ratio isolation transformer does. So if you plug an amp into one of these, you're actually doubling up on your isolation transformers. Just the one that's in the piece of equipment happens to step down the voltage, where this one doesn't do anything. That's one of the reasons audio equipment generally does sound pretty good is because of those isolation transformers and they're in most audio equipment. They're just known as step down because they're also stepping down voltages. These things tend to be pretty heavy. They're also used in you know medical equipment and whatnot and that's actually what this one was from. It had medical grade uh, receptacles. These smaller units surprisingly enough don't have much in the way of overload protection which always surprised me. This little power bar did not have a uh, a few or a circuit breaker and so I installed a push button circuit breaker so this isn't stock but this one did actually come with these green dot hospital grade receptacles and hospital grade receptacles are just super high quality uh, they're like specification grade receptacles except for they just have a bit higher on the quality control oftentimes they are nylon body but the easiest thing to know is if you have the green dot, then those are very solid, solid gripping receptacles, and they work pretty nice. Anyway, as far as commercial isolation transformers, you have one AC or ONIAC. I don't know exactly how. I think I saw a commercial where that's what they wanted to uh, pronounce as, and PowerVar is the other big company. So I kind of wanted to do uh, just do a review of these uh, this little isolation transformer. There is, you know, I talked a lot about what they're used for, and that's kind of the, the general deal. That way people are a little bit more aware when they see something like a big heavy power conditioner like this. That it may actually be one that you want to pick up just because you know that it works like filtering circuits on a high-end surge suppressor. Except for because you have this huge isolation transformer, it really filters out a, just basically all the noise. It is super duper quiet and it helps you ensure that uh, you have super clean power about the best way to clean up power without having what's known as an online UPS, which is always generating a fresh, new, super clean AC signal versus even standard UPSs, which are running off the power line and then just doing a filtering and then switch over to the batteries in a millisecond if the power cuts out. Online two UPSs are technically always running on the inverter continuously. 
Anyway, I'm just going to pause it and open this up just so for those of you who want to see what's inside one of these. Now, on these smaller uh, isolation transformers, they tend to... They do uh, one thing that's cheaper besides actually not having a, a overload protection, which is surprising, is that they don't have what's known as a Faraday shield. Uh, kind of a more technical thing is even when you have a separation with the isolation transformer, really high frequencies can uh, make it through, known, through an effect known as capacitive coupling. So some of the very high quality ones, like in the future I'll do a 1AC, they actually include a Faraday shield in between the primary and secondary. And that's one thing that this power bar is listing. Even though it is missing, even though it is made in America, even the transformer itself is made in America. One other unique thing is power bar does have another little tap right here coming off the transformer. And that's the drive this little circuit board. This has a power indicator. It then has some circuitry to detect that if you have a wiring fault, um, it will ignite that red light to let you know that your wiring needs to be inspected. Then, of course, here's where I installed a little fuse brand 4 amp uh, circuit breaker for additional safety. One other nice aspect of like these power bars and the 1 ACs is they are super quiet. This thing is pretty darn quiet, almost no hum at all, so it could easily be used with audio equipment. Anyway, that's just what's inside here. They have that. They have, you can barely see down in there, There's that's their surge protection. It's this one single metal oxide varistor, or an MOV. And I talked about those in my uh, APC voltage regulator video, where they're the standard form of surge protection, but they're not the best. But when you have an isolation transformer, when you have a large spike in voltage, it's going to make the magnetic field expand, and it kind of softens that sharp spike. So this does help a lot with those types of issues. And then, of course, a large capacitor. These are AC rated capacitors to provide additional output uh, filtering and voltage uh, kind of stabilization. So anyway, that was just a quick review of these power bars. They've always worked great for me. I definitely encourage them. And they do periodically show up at thrift stores and uh, on the used market for sure because they're often recommended, especially for more expensive in-home medical equipment. Uh, you really want to have one of these things. And so inevitably they end up uh, going into disuse when you're, you know, people stop using the equipment. You know, hopefully it will be because they get better. And uh, they're really nice. They're an excellent form. They're great for anything from your computers to, you know, your flat screen TV. It just kind of adds peace of mind, not having to worry uh, about maybe early failure or long-term damage. Really, most issues that happen in TVs to LED light bulbs is little switching power supplies end up burning up. And I'm sure if they were connected to something that has excellent degrees of uh, power conditioning and power filtering, that they would indeed last longer because electronics are undergoing less electrical stress. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.